magnetic encoding will allow you to test the magnetic encoding from your printer. Here again, you need to have evidently the card properly selected, high core, low core, and so on. If you didn't do that, just click on printing preferences. You go back to uh, the card setup, select here uh, high core, low core, whatever you have, and click on OK, and you are done. And to test, just here, key in according to the ISO norm, so capital letters on uh, the track 1 and numbers. And for track 2 and track 3, only numbers. You just click encode and the card will be encoded. If you want to read the card, okay, just click on read and the card will be read. The small difference between uh, ZXP and the 330 is when you encode the card here, the card will be ejected from the printer and will not stay evidently inside the printer. So you will have to take it from the uh, output hopper, put it back in uh, the feeder and click read okay, to read the card. So small difference, P330, when you use the driver, the card stays inside the printer until you eject it. In ZXP, every time you encode or every time you read, the card will be ejected. That's exactly the same for the smart card. If I reach it, yep, okay. So here, I have a contactless uh, reader, which has been seen there. Okay, I'm going to use contact card. You know. If you cannot change here, it's probably because your setup for the card is not correct. So you have to go in card setup and select contactless. Then you select if it's a MyFair 1K, 2K. You feed the card and you can here enter some information to write and read the card afterwards, like if it was a uh, magnetic encoding. Here again, when you write a card, the card will be ejected, so you have to take it out uh, from the uh, exit hopper, put it back in the feeder to be able to read it.